I'm going to go with picket fence method again. But here, I've got a simple example. I've got five apples, okay? Five apples cost one pound, which is 100p. So if I divide on both sides by five apples, what I get is one is equal to 100p divided by five apples, which is 20p per apple. Yeah. I can also do it differently. I can say 100p is five apples. Right? So if I divide on both sides by 100p, what I get, one is equal to one apple over 20p. Right? So these are the same expressions. So now I'm going to ask you a question, which is, how many apples can I buy for, um, sorry about that. So how many apples can I buy for, um, uh, let's say, 1,000 pence? Yeah, so I need apples in the numerator, okay? So what am I going to do? So I'm going to see where is the apple coming in the numerator. Oh, over here. So I'm going to just simply multiply this by 1 because 1,000p times 1 is 1,000p. And for this 1, I can now substitute 1,000 multiplied by 1 apple divided by 20p. Right? I've got 1,000p, 20p here. The p's get cancels out and zeros cancels out and what I get is to 50s or 100, so I've got 50 apples.